Welcome to a new lesson in English. Today's lesson is conditional type 3. By the end of this session, we will be able to use third conditional sentences to talk about hypothetical past situations related to your own experience. Ready? Let's start. Task 1. Review of simple past and past participle. Fill in the chart or the table with the past forms of the verb. Example, you have play, simple past, played. Any idea? Shall we correct? Okay, let's check. Play. Simple past, played. Past participle? Played. Watch, watched. Past participle? Watch the game. Great. Good job. Began is the simple past of which verb? Yes. Begin. And what's the past participle of this verb? Great! Begun! Got or garden is the past participle of which verb? Any idea? Yeah? Get! Great! What's the simple past? Got! Good job! Had is the simple past of which verb? Have. Good. And past participle? Had again. Met is the simple past of which verb? Meet. Good job. And what's the past participle? Met. Meet. Met. Met. Do. What is the simple past of this verb? And what is the past participle? Did. Done. Good. Written is the past participle of which verb? Right. Great. And wrote is the simple past. Okay, now read the following text and answer the questions below. Why did Jane want to change her job? Why did she oversleep? What would have happened if she had set the alarm clock? Hmm, there's a problem with Jane in this text. Let's go to the text. My name is Jane. I had been looking for a job for a while, as I hated mine. I didn't get on well with, me, with my boss and I found the job boring. I had seen an advert in the local paper for a job that sounded perfect for me. On the day of the interview, I overslept because I forgot to set my alarm and I didn't sleep early the night before. So, I lost the new job. If I had set the alarm, I would have gotten up on time for the interview and I wouldn't have missed the interview if I had gone to bed early that night. Okay, can we answer the questions now? Do you remember the questions? Why did Jane want to change her job? Why did she oversleep? What would have happened if she had set the alarm clock? Shall we check our answers? Okay. Jane wants to change her job because it was boring and she didn't get on well with her boss. Question number two. She overslept because she didn't set the alarm clock. And the last question. If she had set the alarm, she wouldn't have missed the interview. Now. What can we say about this sentence? If she had set the alarm, she 
wouldn't have missed the interview. Which tense is this sentence conjugated in? What is this form? Any idea? Yeah, this is the conditional type three. Now study this sentence and complete the diagram. If I had set the alarm, I would have gotten up on time for the interview. If, plus what? Plus what? Shall we correct? If, plus subject, I had set, past participle, the alarm, plus subject, I would have, and past participle. This is the main clause. Oh, uh, this is the if clause, sorry. And this is the main clause. If clause is A and main clause is B. But this is not the only form of conditional or the only order that takes the main clause and if clause. Let's look at the second rule. Subject plus would have plus past participle plus if plus subject plus had plus past participle. Here we start with the main clause and followed by the if clause. That is B comes first and A comes second. A, A, B, B. So if clause here and if clause here. Notice here there is a comma. If we start with the if clause, we add a comma. But if we start with the main clause, there is no comma in between. Now, say whether these statements are true or false to complete the formulation of the rule of the conditional type 3. Third conditional is used to talk about the present. Is it used to talk about the present? True or false? Great. False. Third conditional describes a past situation. True or false? Good job. True. It is used to describe a situation that didn't happen and to imagine the result of this. True or false? Good job. It's true. Yes. So, third, third conditional describes a past situation and it's used to describe a situation that didn't happen and to imagine the result of this. That is, not when this situation did not happen, what is the result? Or, this situation happened, what is the result? Now, match the two parts of the sentences. If I had known you were in hospital, if we had had a GPS in our car, if you had attended every lesson, you match it with, you have, you'd bet, you, you, uh, sorry, you would have passed that exam easily, I would have visited you, and we wouldn't have got lost. Okay? Are we correct? So if I had known you were in hospital, it goes with what? It goes with B. I would have visited you. If we had had a GPS in our car, you would have passed that exam? Oh, what relationship? Good. It's we wouldn't have got Lost. What is the situation? It means that we got lost. So something happened. If we had had a GPS, 
we wouldn't have lost. And the situation is that we were lost. If you had attended every lesson,